Hey everybody, it's Jibo Unit here, and um, uh, this is my first. Um, that, oh, I'll be like Pete. That freaking freaking that phone. I'm not answering it. <laughs> that was for you, Pete, at the Armory Channel. If you guys are watching. Subscribe to Pete at Armory Channel. But uh, anyway, uh, I am doing a walk and talk or a drive and talk. I'm basically copying my other friend, uh, Gunskinny. So, he likes to do a lot of walk and talk and drive and talk. And um, I'm actually doing one today because I'm on my way to Orange um, to the gun show, the Crossroads of the West gun show. Uh, that gun show makes its tour, you know, around the Southwest. And I usually go to the one in Del Mar, California, south, you know, down in San Diego. And... Uh, the one in in Del Mar is not it's not going to come back until like October so I'm kind of impatient can't really wait uh, and besides October is going to be very busy because it's in the middle of football season and um, I am a football official I am a a zebra stripe for you people who don't quite get it so anyway um, you know I, I do games on Went, uh, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, and uh, you know, Sundays are open like today, but I may be really pooped or bushed, and um, you know, I, I like to take that Sunday to to go to church and to um, uh, and to tend to relax from all the activities on Saturday. So, so anyway, I'm going to Orange to the uh, let's see the county fairgrounds. And I'm going to go to uh, get just a few things, you know, um, you can never have too much ammo, so I'm going to get ammo, of course. Uh, I'm going to get, um, you know, some 40 caliber for my pistol, for my SIG, and I'm going to get uh, 22s. And if you've seen my reviews on uh, my Ruger Mark III Standard, man, the cheapest ammo, the cheapest long rifle ammo is the best ammo for my Mark III. Now, okay, it's cheap, it's not CCI, um, it's not some special whatever, but you know, I'm not a target shooter or professional, you know, target shooter or a hunter or anything. Um, I just like to be able to have a bullet that works and doesn't jam. And um, like I said before, the, the Blazers, man, I went through uh, I think the box is 525 or 550. It's never like 500 anymore. But I went through over a thousand rounds with zero jams on that on that ammunition. Um, the other 20, you know, I, I do have Winchester, uh, the white box stuff, and uh, Remington, the gold. Um, God, I forgot the, but it's you know it's in the the Remington in the in the gold and green box. Uh, they come in 550s or 525, I don't remember. But um, I was real surprised that the Remington jammed up. And, you know, and I only went through, you know, maybe, uh, you know, I went through a box of 500 and I did about half of them when I first shot the, the Ruger. Went through about half of them with about three three misfeeds and so that's like 200 rounds three misfeeds and some of you may say oh well that's pretty good percentages you know and uh, you know you're right it is pretty good percentages you know however um, I like I, so I had to pause for a minute because uh, I passed the chips highway patrol at about 75 but I was in the flow of traffic and he's not taking off to go after me. Uh, so, okay. Now, had I been texting, probably be a different idea. But, uh, okay, anyway. Um, so the percentages of about three to four mis misfires, uh, misfeeds, um, for 200 or so rounds. It sounds, sounds pretty good, but, you know, uh, I, I don't know what the real percentages are, if that's good or bad, and you know, um, but you wouldn't want to be in a life and death situation, okay? I know I'm being extreme, a life and death situation where 
you've run out of all your ammo for your 40, you don't have any of your long guns, you pull out your trusty 22. <laughs> that stupid phone. <laughs> Again, that was for Pete at the Armory Channel. Um, you don't want to pull out your trusty 22, fire it at somebody, and then it misfeeds, and you have to clear the misfeed. You know, they'll be right on top of you, you know? So, uh, so I was, you know, misfeeds are never a good thing. But, uh, you know, I, I did, you know, ha buy half a box of Remington, and then ended up, uh, you know, I said, oh, just, I'll try this blazer. I got the cheap stuff at the gun show. So I did. I went through the entire box with no misfeeds. And then I went through another box of them. So I went through two boxes of this stuff. So well over a thousand rounds. Um, and with zero misfeeds, which is great. And so then when I took my boy shooting, you saw that other video, I decided to finish off that box of Remington. So in the back of my mind, I was thinking, well, there's a break-in period for guns, kind of like a car. Um, maybe there won't be any misfeeds because the gun is conditioned, so to speak. I don't know what you call it, but you know, conditioned. Maybe the lead kind of smoothed things out, and you know, maybe the first 200 rounds, uh, everything was stiff and too new, and uh, you know, maybe Blazer kind of paved the way and, and made, uh, you know, condition the gun, you know, whatever you want to call it. So I did that and I still had two misfeeds um, with the rest of that box. So I believe that, you know, someone had told me this before, I had mentioned it in a, another video, that um, some guns probably like, they like certain ammo. And, uh, you know, and the thing is, I have a Ruger 1022, and that thing likes Remington, has zero misfeeds. I have not shot anything else through the 1022, but, you know, that's why I got a whole bunch of Remington, you know, uh, ammunition, because my rifle liked it. So, you know, maybe that's the case, I don't know. But anyway, enough about 22s. So, I'm going here to get more 40. And same thing, you know, I, I, uh, because I'm on a budget, I tend to get the cheap stuff. So what did I do? I went to the biggest ammunition dealer uh, at, at the gun show, saw what they had, the cheapest stuff they had, and it's their own factory reloads. Why do I keep doing this? I like this for some reason. Okay, they do their own factory reloads. And so I bought a box of 500, you know, it was real cheap. And I figured, oh, you know, I'm not, I'm not in law enforcement. You know, I'm not doing anything special with the gun. I, you know, I just want to target shoot and practice with it. Well, zero misfeeds later after 500, uh, I was sold on it. it. It's good. I like the stuff. Of course, I didn't, I didn't, I'm too cheap to buy any other 40 ammo to compare it. But I figure if I've got zero misfeeds and you know, I can hit the side of a barn or rather a, you know, a 10 inch diameter circle at seven yards. Hey, I, you know, I'm good with that. So I guess the thing is, is if I had really good ammo, got my hands on really good ammo and shot that, I'd probably be a little more accurate. So, you know, I figure if I practice with the crummy stuff um, and get good with that, hey, the better stuff would be even better, right? I've got really screwed up logic sometimes, so. Take it, take it with a grain of salt, what I say. But then again, this is my video, it's my opinion, and uh, uh, if you got your own opinion, you can make your own videos and open up a YouTube account and whatnot, or comment on mine, but all of my comments are pending approval, so ha. <laughs> I don't like getting bad comments. I haven't gotten any bad comments on any of my videos so far, so thank goodness, because, uh, you know, I, I tend not to, to BS people. I don't like to, you know, BS people or talk about stuff that I don't know about and claim to know something about it. You know, I I just go with experience and, and hearsay. And um, I go with the hearsay 
until I experience my, myself otherwise. You know, you know, if I someone says, "Oh, you know, the the 40 is is the, you know, I, I don't even have a good example of uh, uh, Blazer ammunition sucks in in Ruger in Mark threes. Well, I can have an opinion about that because I put over a thousand rounds of Blazer through my Mark III. So I can counter that and say, well, it may suck for you, but for my gun, it works perfectly. The, the ammo that sucks for me in that gun is Remington. So, you know, that type of stuff. So anyway, um, let me give you a, sh instead of me, let me give you a shot of the freeway here. There we go. So I'm probably, Oh my gosh, I'm like 40 minutes away. So, got my trusty GPS. Okay. And my phone hanging from my rearview mirror. So, oh hey, there I am. So I'm just having fun with my camera. I don't have a, oh yeah, that, that's my camera right there, see? Okay, so, so anyway, I'm still trying to figure out how to do stop start on this one meaning I would like to link this video with another video so that it's one video and I don't know if it's possible on this camera on this type of camera um, I'd like to do that because I, I you know I'd like to talk about something stop it talk about something else stop it you know kind of like what what everyone else seems to have um, but you know I figure I'll, I'll learn one of these days or purchase a real camera a real movie camera so anyway that's it for now um, I'm not going to talk too much about it uh, about much more in this video May, mainly I'm going to get ammunition is it worth the drive to get ammunition yeah I think it is because it's the ammunition I like and uh, I have good luck with it and I like wandering around I don't want to wait till Octo October to look around because you know you never know what kind of deals you'll find at a gun show so uh, also I'm gonna I want to get a Dremel a Dremel tool you know they, they sell all kinds of weird stuff there well a Dremel's not weird but you know it's it's like well why don't you just get one at Lowe's you know well because the Dremels at the gun show are real cheap so I figured while I'm there getting the ammunition I could take advantage of the cheap prices get a Dremel uh, and probably get you know a few other things so so I guess I guess I'm good to go so anyway hope you enjoyed this uh, just uh, a little chat with me I know it's, a lot of people probably think it's real boring and you know it could be uh, but hopefully I talked about interesting stuff long enough for you to stay awake so um, oh and besides I do not think I can take this in and videotape any of the gun show. Um, I do remember something about, um, you know, no cameras allowed, no flash photography, blah, blah, blah. And I can see that, I can see why. Um, unlike um, that that cool video that that um, Armory Channel and Weapons Education and, and Cutlery Channel put up of their Cabela's trip, uh, that that was that was righteous. I loved seeing that. I loved going into the into the store with those cameras and and looking at everything. So so anyway, I won't be able to do the same thing here because I, I think people are real paranoid and weird about um, uh, getting their goods and faces and everything uh, videotaped. So I guess that's just a policy with Crossroads of the West. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to have. Uh, any video of that, but I'll, I'll look at the signs at the gate and see what happens. So, anyway, peace out, and I will talk to you later.